right? Yeah. yeah. As Anishinaabe people, we were told a long time ago that the Maingan and us as Anishinaabe would walk side by side. And we would live for a long time if we would walk side by side with our relative. That relative is called the wolf. And we were told that whatever would befall the wolf would befall us. And that's what happened to both us and the wolf for a long time. We really took a beating, frankly. And I think you all know that. We are coming back, and they came back too. And you all know what happened this last year with the wolf. Killed a quarter of the population, sports, state of Minnesota. It was really egregious to us as Anishinaabe people. And I think egregious to a lot of Minnesotans. In our teachings, we speak for all our relatives, whether they have wings, or fins, or paws, or roots. That is what we are taught as Anishinaabe people, and it is really a time that we all start to do that, because they count on us to do the right thing. And I know a lot of the things that you know, but one thing I know for sure is that it's really easy to knock an endangered species off the list so that you can open up a bunch of mines in the north. It's really easy to knock an endangered species off the list so you can put in a bunch of pipelines across their territory. We need to understand that these things are all related. And we are the people that are here now. We have this opportunity to stop bad things from happening. The Mother Earth counts on us to do that. We have the opportunity to stop them from blowing off the top of more mountains so they can ship coal to China. We have the opportunity to stop them from mining the south shore of Lake Superior so they can ship that to China. We have the opportunity to stop them from hauling more coal in from a reservation in the northern Cheyenne homeland that doesn't want it for Minnesota power so that Minnesota power can power some mines that we don't want. We have the opportunity to stop them from bringing more pipe, pipes down from the tar sands. <coughs> we are the ones that have that spiritual opportunity to do something great for Mother Earth. And so we're here, we're asking you to do that. It might be outside of your arena of comfort. I don't know what it is. But all I know is, is that she's the only mother we have in the end. There's not a new place to go. And, you know, a lot of times people say, I don't know what they say, but what I'll tell you is that I'm less a patriot to a flag than I am to a land. So, tonight, we're asking you, where's the beautiful ladies? Are they out there? You see, there are beautiful ladies. There are beautiful ladies everywhere here. That is right. Congratulate yourself, you're all beautiful ladies. <laughs> we have some postcards. Some of the beautiful ladies are gonna pass them off. This is Stop in Bridges Expansion. It'd be a really cool thing if we could stop just one more pipeline from coming from a place that it shouldn't come from. <laughs> if you can send out the postcard, we're sending it to the PUC. If you leave it at our table in the back, we will even mail it for you. You know, I know how folks are. Sometimes they stick it in their purse for a long time, that's me. Just fill them all, mail them, or give them to us. But we want to ask you to do that. So we're asking you to take a little courage for those who are not here, whether they are wolves or whether they are your great-grandchildren who are going to want some water that they can drink. We're asking you to stand up, take some action, and use the power that you have. Because no one can take that from you. It is really, really important. And to remember that we have this opportunity to do something and to look where it is we are going. Because we may be from different places, but I think we all want the same thing. We want to eat food that we know is good, local, not owned by Monsanto. <laughs> Halfway around the world with fossil fuels we don't want to use. We want to have a transportation system that is respectful and isn't an embarrassment 
to Bulgaria. Wouldn't it be nice? We'd like to have energy that is local and doesn't require wars to provide. And we'd like to be the people who did the right thing for Mother Earth. So I want to thank you for coming tonight. I really hope you enjoy two of my best girls over the many years we've been together. And I hope you'll support some of these struggles. Thank you, Honor Dirt.